the intention really is to just do good work i think all of us are so passionate about our work it's it's the constant endeavor is to work with extremely challenging directors films roles to grow to learn and maybe somewhere along the way success happens and you know the tags that were given are given um but i think like she said i think it is it's a very unique and interesting place to be i think that um you know like i said there are sacrifices there are you have to be extremely dedicated for example i haven't gone to college i'm you know i finished my 11th and 12th and even my 11th and 12th i just about managed to finish because i was already a very successful model by that time and i was based in bangalore but i used to keep traveling uh, uh, to to mumbai and to delhi for work and i couldn't keep up and um, you know and then i i finished my 12th and then i tried to do um one year of my degree uh through college i couldn't do that i then tried to do uh, distance education i couldn't complete that as well so i'm just a 12th pass <laughs> <laughs> which my parents back then had a big issue with because they always wanted me to only start working after i had got a basic degree graduation which is you know the always um i think the very conservative indian way of looking at it is to say you need to have something to fall back on um but i think that somewhere along the way i think they realized how passionate i was about what i wanted to do and something changed and they were like no she seems extremely focused and and then you know overnight i had wings to fly um and i don't think i would be able to achieve what i have if i didn't have their support to know to go home every night and to know that my parents believe in my vision to know that they're absolutely okay with uh, with everything that i do and somewhere i'm sure it's um, also got to do with the fact that you know with the way they brought me up maybe they felt confident about the fact that they you know they confident about the way they've brought me up and to to let me go and you know while some relationships have become stronger over a period of time i do see a lot of my friends who also distance themselves um you know some of my school friends um we we became much closer than before because i make we all make the effort to sort of stay in touch and stay connected but a lot of people i think could not handle the the success that came my way and sort of you know disconnected and i I'm not upset about it. I just feel that's just the way, you know, that's just the way life goes. You, you know, the people who are closest to you eventually, mat, you know, they understand they understand. Um and yes, as far as romantic relationships are concerned, they most, you know, they are they are complicated because it's difficult to find someone who um you know who uh, who understands your success, who understands your passion for what you do, who understands you know the fact that maybe you earn more money than them um you know so it's it's um, it is a complicated place to be everything that i've achieved today and everything that i have today materially if that's what we're talking about is my own you know i you've earned it i've earned it i've started from scratch i've not borrowed anything from anybody including my parents i'm always someone who looks at the brighter side and it will always be happy that there's also a large part of people who appreciate it i think it comes from immense amount of self belief ji i think it comes from the way i've been brought up right and i think it comes from not being afraid i think for me there's there's one part of me that says whatever i do i will do it well ha huh. if i'm watching something i will watch it if i'm listening to someone i right. will listen right um it's very easy in today's times to to be distracted ji ji to not listen to not care to not pay attention um so i think you know it's something that i've worked on right um i wouldn't say worked on it's something that i'm aware of it's something that i'm you know i'm conscious of mm. it's very very important um for me to do if i'm eating i will sit at the dining table and eat and mm. i will focus on my food that's which important is, which is wonderful me. yeah from being written off 10 years ago to being where i am today it, i feel 
truly, truly blessed in so many ways. But at the same time, I'm not going to say I've been lucky. Um, I've worked very, very hard. Definitely, we've seen get, that. To get to where I am. We've 